All right, welcome to another episode from The Chart Readers. Hey, I loved how much everybody loved my last Mavis video, so I wanted to do another one quickly. There's actually a little bit more educated things I can say this time. Really appreciate whoever shared this thing on Reddit. I actually saw the numbers and my wife just made me a Chart Readers on Reddit, so I'll kind of start playing with that soon, I'm sure. But hey, I very much appreciate everyone for doing that and anything you do on these videos, for real, for real. Um, that said, look, I'm going to talk about Mavis and Tesla and the NASDAQ as well. I, I really want to highlight the NASDAQ a bunch on both because, I mean, both stocks are just taking advantage of the strength. And if you've ever seen my golden rules video, my number one rule is if the market's doing well, our job is to crush it. And this is what that looks like. Even Tesla is what that looks like. You know what I mean? So... I'm really excited to get into these, but again, before I do, what are we going to do? Same thing we always do, right? We're going to take a look at the daily and the weekly to see our thing is setting up short term. We have our five moving averages. There are horizontal support and resistance lines that I do draw manually myself. And then when we're done up here, we'll use the MACD, RSI, and volume as our lower indicators. Hey, really quickly, if you can please like this video, subscribe to the channel, share this thing all over with your friends, comments good or bad, anything you can really do does help me out, okay? So let's get into it. And really the first thing I want to talk about before even getting into the chart. So I've talked about, I actually really normally don't do you know, fundamental in-depth, let me look at what this company does. I've very much been impressed with what a lot of the comments have said. The chart alone speaks for itself and you can literally see how I was like, I had no words, right? So I am very much excited to put a couple hours into it. And look, I'm not going to do anything spectacular, right? Everything I'm about to do, you can do yourself if you haven't already. You go to the micro and, and honestly, the way I got there, all I typed in was MVIS. IR page brought me here. I came to events. This is obviously the most recent earnings, but I'll be honest with you. I'm going to go back to this Q4 one. I want to hear the last one. I want to hear what they were expecting in this Q1 call. I want to see what delivered. And then I want to set my expectations for what to expect for that next quarter call, right? I already know that the market liked this, right? I, I can see that from this. So honestly, it's less about my opinions of this call and more about, hey, what did they say here? What did they hit here? Oops, sorry. What did they hit here that made everybody happy? And then what needs to happen on the next one in Q2, right? Basically three months from May, give or take, um, to, to hopefully continue onward, right? So that's my plan. I'm obviously super happy to share what I get, but yeah, honestly, I'm probably gonna listen to those calls maybe two times each. Cause yeah, I'm not here pretending to be the smartest guy in the room and I'm gonna hear everything that they say, absorb it all and be like, oh, I magically know it all. No, get out of here, right? So it's gonna take a couple listens. It's, it's you know, I'm probably gonna understand about seventy percent and hopefully eighty percent, but. I'll know if someone's voice is, you know, weak and worried or if they're confident and you know what I mean? So there's, there's little things like that that I also like honestly play with uh, when I'm listening to earnings and things like that. But that's my plan, more to come there for sure, for sure. So let's get into the technicals, okay? And really I think the biggest real thing we can talk about is the weekly. All right. And, and I mean, this basically happened on today's daily, right? Because you can see we still went the highest we went as of today. So what did I say? Look, first off, I didn't say a lot in the last video. I just laughed more than it, right? But I did say this was going to be really hard to break. This 506 line is, is, is the money line for sure. Because again, I'm not here to pretend to know the math on these lines, but the hundreds coming down. And the 100 is eventually going to get to this 106. And at this point, you can see that the 200, this purple one, is almost completely parallel to it, right? So breaking this is, is going to be the very, very big thing. And if I'm not mistaken, as we went, did, was it in the monthly? Maybe it was the monthly. This little red guy's here. I don't want. I don't want to be wrong and just kind of go back into my long version. There is a long view that I did as well. But five oh six is is the money line, and it's gonna be hard to get over these two. And you gotta remember this, right? If we get over it on the weekly, 
I need to wait the other weeks close to confirm, right? If you watch my videos, I'm all about confirmation, right? We break the hundred right here. We don't confirm it just yet. We break it right here. We then confirm and we run right? We break the 200 and confirm, we get to keep running, right? You got to break it and confirm. We break this thing monster, we confirm, we get one more week, right? So if we break these two next Friday, what's next Friday? Let's get the calendar out. So if on the 9th, this closes up here, all right, let's just roughly call it 543 really doesn't matter where just anywhere over the line right if that happens on the 9th i'm really more interested on the 16th can you do it two weeks in a row can you do it two candles in a row if we were on the daily i was going to say you better do it the next day can you do it two candles in a row right so just keep that in mind but right now look the daily in a lot of ways is kind of telling me hey we might be coming down to to this 440 all right Maybe 50% candle does something. And in a lot of ways, it kind of did something today. Maybe 50% candle right here does something. You can kind of call it 460, give or take. Um, you know, 50% candle right here is pretty much eight moving average. And, and in my head, that's, that's hopefully what holds it, all right? This is still a really strong plateau. And maybe the eight kind of curves down. We come to 403 and we end up going back up, right? But I think now is where the cool off should happen. And I'll be honest with you. I actually don't mind that because, again, we need some really good RSI to, to get through this, all right? What's 50% candle here? Look at it. So, again, I think 455 five is actually a really is a solid number to to keep on the daily right because i'm basically saying 440 here um i think i think this is a solid number 450 if we come back down to 450 all right rsi would probably come into the like maybe high 60s if i had to guess and then from there, we can maybe have enough juice to break through it, right? Because again, I always say on the daily, if, if you're close to 80, you're getting high. I'm going to say it here, right? Again, it's pretty crazy that this weekly has also been, uh, that's actually not as high as I expected. Yeah, 74, 74. Um, oh, that looked a lot higher, I think. Yeah. Oh, there was one here, but this was a bit of a while ago. Again, I, 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 think, I think this especially kind of saying that the high 70s is really what it's used to. Um, that said, I obviously see, I mean, that's divergence, that's divergence, volume's not that bad. I mean, all three weeks are definitely over the white line. I care way more about that than that little downtrend right there, right? Breaking the 50 on the volume matters a lot. So um, again, Mavis has done some silly things on the daily, right? That's literally why I laughed at the last video. Like I, I, I have to believe the last video was one of these days. And again, we see another monster candle after it, right? So I laughed for a reason because I it looked like it was going up and it still did, right? Like that's silliness. It, it is, right? And maybe the weekly does that too. Like I, I, we'll see, right? But again, 506 is the money line. And from there, I mean, honestly, I, I think that's where we start talking about $8 and then we'll go higher from there, right? So um, yeah, again, I think 450 is a really interesting, and look, when I say 450, right? 450 could be an entry point for someone that's not in right now. 450 could be a really interesting place to maybe average up, right? Like there's a lot that you can do with that 450 if it comes down, right? I think it's way less about get worried, get scared and more about, you know, um, consider some stuff, I think. You know what I mean? So I want to flash the NASDAQ real quick, Comp Q, all right? And one of the really important things to talk about is just the timing of the last earnings, right? So this happens on May 9th. That's when Mavis drops it. That is give or take once this thing starts taking off. That is basically when we break this 12 to 5 line and start running. So Mavis's good earnings literally happens as NASDAQ starts running. And I mean, that just translated so beautifully for the stock. You know what I mean? So um, beautiful, beautiful run, beautiful, beautiful timing. And again, if 506 can break and confirm, it could get real interesting on this stock for sure. So 
Um, yeah, I think that's some good stuff here. I'll talk about Tesla really, no, T-S-L-A, perfect, Tesla. What are we looking at here? Tesla has now broken. Look, we. Bro I, I always say it, right? If there's a doji on an important place, either one of the moving averages, one of my white lines, expect the next day to tell the truth. I see a doji right on the 200, actually above it, which is even better, right? But give or take on it. And yeah, the next three days follow suit really well, right? So um, got, gotta love what we see. And end of the day, where are we? We are over all the moving averages, right? And as I zoom out, oh, it's interesting that I have these two that close. I think this one's here because of this gap right here. And I mean, obviously this one was really good because that is actually what basically stopped today, right? So I think I'm okay keeping them both. That's a little tighter than I like my two lines to be. It's been a while since I've done a Tesla video in all honesty. So um, I'm gonna keep it though. I think I think this 229, and look, let's be honest. Let's look at where the RSI is, right? We're at an 87 showing still wants to go up, right? So I think it actually would come to maybe 230. I think it'll then cool off a little bit and then basically keep going. So I think it's really interesting that that thing's still there, even seeing this. I, I like it. I'm not going to move it or anything like that. And again, one more time, I'm pretty sure, nope, not that one right there. I'm pretty sure this is drawn off of that candle right there, basically the highest green one before this gap fill, right? The gap down, right? So um, 229 is an important number, actually, because that could be a very easy climb up here and doing some ballpark math. That's actually about a 20% swing right there. So um, interesting. I, I like that a lot, actually. So again, I wouldn't be surprised if it hits this and then comes back down, though, just again, given that 87 RSI. I just flashed the NASDAQ, right? And we just talked about on Mavis. It, it, these couple days were a little lighter here because it really wasn't until basically the 15th on that the NASDAQ took off. Off, but Mavis was able to keep going because it did have the good earnings, right? So that, that obviously helped. But Tesla, overall, the moving average, beautiful thing. MACD looking good in the positive. RSI is actually honestly looking good, just a little high for my blood, right? But um, volume keeps increasing. Over, look, check mark, check mark, check mark, check mark. NASDAQ's good too, right? So we'll look at the weekly really quickly. Oh, important weekly. Nice. Look at that interesting and oh man yeah a lot even that 229 might fly this thing's kind of saying maybe 250 here so um god i'm loving what i'm seeing to say the least so um let me know what you think otherwise thank you thank you